The potato in this problem is at the origin of a coordinate system. We're told the x and y components of the potato's average velocity. The x component is negative, meaning it's going to the left, and the y component is positive, meaning it's going up. Part A asks us for the potato's location after 12 seconds have passed. We'll find these x and y values using the definition of average velocity, which equals the displacement divided by the time. This is a vector equation, so we can write the components individually. The x component of the average velocity is the x component of the displacement, delta x, divided by delta t, and the y component of the velocity is the y component of the displacement, divided by delta t. These displacements are written here. The change in position, delta x is x minus x naught, and delta y is y minus y naught, the final positions minus the initial. The potato starts at the origin, so both of the initial coordinates are zero, and the displacements, the change in positions, just equal the final positions. Let's substitute that result into the x component of the average velocity equation. And solve for the final position x to see that it equals the x component of the average velocity multiplied by the time that passes delta t. Substitute the known values and calculate to find the x location after 12 seconds is negative 45.6 meters. Calculate the potato's final y position in exactly the same way. Use the y component of the average velocity equation. Solving for the final location y. And substituting the known values. When you calculate, you find that the final y location is 58.8 meters. So the potato started at the origin and ended up at this location, a position xy. Part B asks us to find the distance from the origin to that location. We can construct a right triangle with legs of length x and y, the components of the displacement. The hypotenuse then is the distance r that we're trying to find. We can find this using the Pythagorean theorem. r squared equals x squared plus y squared. Take the square root. and substitute the known values, calculating to find that it equals 74.4 meters.